I absolutely loved doing the still life. The reference photo is from Melona E. Stefan. This is the sixth painting, I think, that I've made from one of her reference photographs. Um, I loved and I chose the still life because of the lighting. Um, I love that bright, dramatic light. I'm really into it. So, of course, I had to paint this. And I love painting ceramics as well. So this is just a little piece. The size is 17 centimeters by 20. And I'm working on the pastel matte paper and the color here is the sand. So I started off by using Ink Intense blocks. They're from the company Derwent. I only have three colors in this and I put some of the dark chocolate in the background. And then I took some um, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl which they think they call here in the UK. I just got it off Amazon. Then I waited for that to dry and it dried down really, really flat. So I don't think I would use these intense blocks for an actual painting. Um, it was just very dull, not my kind of finish I like in my work. So it's great as an underlayer because then I came over with the Terry Ludwigs. I put in like dark turquoise color and then a lighter turquoise from the Art Spectrum range. And the Derwent in Ink Intense Blocks, they don't fill up the tooth of the paper, um, but they do a nice layer. So you're not going to use tons of your pastel to um, try to fill in all the tooth, which is great. So though I really enjoyed using um, this for a underwash, I guess you could call it. So as you can see, um, the background originally was more on the orange brown sort of scale, but I wanted to zhuzh it up a bit, I suppose, with um, turquoise. And that's as as and as I said, it's like a dark turquoise because blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel. So I wanted these nasturtium to really pop out. They being you know highlighted by this incredible spotlight effect and then I think having a nice complementary background so going for more the blue background just um, helps the whole composition and also you've got some of that turquoise blue in the actual ceramic vase so that works really nicely so then you've got the vase talking to the background and then the background's popping out the flower because it's an opposite um, on the wheel, color wheel. And so I just, that, that was my reasoning why I chose the background that I did, that I went for, for the turquoise color instead. For the reds and corals um, and oranges and yellows in the actual nasturtium, um, Sennelia actually have a range called nasturtium orange. So I used all of those. They've got about five, you know, going from um, dark to tinted. And I also used a lot of the Mount Vision. Ooh, they've got some stunning reddish yellow coral colors. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, my red and orange um, pastel collection is really quite small. So just recently I've added to that, um, which is great. Starting off here with um, the ceramic, as I mentioned, I absolutely love painting ceramics. They, for me, bring me so much joy and they just come together so well. Just if you get in your dark tonal value and then you can just blob in your midtones and your lights, bang, it's done. Looks good. Um, oh, it's, it's very easy to do. So, <laughs> so I really enjoy doing them. Um, so just using a mixture of the Terry Ludwigs, um, I've got dark browns in here. And then this is the, um, just fixing a bit of the background with the Terry Ludwig dark turquoise that I used in the background. And then just building this up with the oranges, orangey browns. I'm also using some Sennelier's, bringing in pops of art spectrum, turquoise, lighter tones of turquoise. Yeah, loads of fun. So um, this took me about an hour and 40 minutes from start to finish. And if you would like to see that in real time, you can head over to my Patreon channel. I shall leave a link in the description below. But thank you for watching um, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.